an excuse, I guess. Mm -hmm. But regardless, Three, you're here with us two, right now one, for Extra versus go. Phil. Start things up once again on Kalos. Been a bit of a popular pick tonight. And I feel it's like so this is a stage that definitely benefits both of these characters because the way that Dill is just able to like really like menacingly like keep you off stage on Kalos, making most out of the platform is really, really scary. But uh McKelty, like Young Link definitely gets a lot of mileage off of it as well. But Dill trying to punish the end lag on the up B, forgetting that Young Link has practically no end lag on all of his moves, able to shield his attempt to F smash him. Yeah, now that moves recovery is super convenient. Like, extra Oak can get away with criminal murder and he'll yep. be safe. But I'm really glad that you brought up how good the stage is for both these characters, because I feel like once one of them really gets their game plan going, that kind of momentum can snowball so hard, because the stage favors a lot of juggling, a lot of projectile pressure, and both these characters don't really have, like, much as far as struggle is concerned, killing in any which direction to the stage. Yep. Extra O's getting his attempt to boomerang stuffed out by the neutral B. Ah, almost getting that uh, gyro into down smash, but unfortunately Young Link's tech throw is a little bit too far. Wow, he got the good something something into down tilt and was uh, trying to convert a fire error off on it. But uh, Dill had enough time to throw out a forward error before that happened. And that looks like it's going to be the up throw. A character like Young Link, so light. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a, he's a tiny boy, you know? He's gonna be dying early to those things. But, but Rob, big robot, he's gonna get hit by damn near <laughs> anything, and that's what's gonna tie things right on back up. The down tilt forward is a little bit of like a DI check as well, very, very similar to Gooninja's, but I feel like um, really, really consistent, a little bit more consistent as well. Still able to clean up the stock, though. Really Dill recognizing that his grab is worth worthless in this matchup, yep. so he's just gonna swing with down tilt. I mean, with the kind of frame advantage that you get out of down tilt, being able to allow you to strike on opponents and follow up so effortlessly, you may as well. And I think he's been put in fantastic use of his down tilt pressure yeah. in not just this, the tonight, but like especially this set, like right off the bat. Keeping up with extra O is no easy task. And, like, and I also just really want to point out, like, I love uh, right now Dill's use of the drag down up as he was able to get so much mileage off of it just a little bit earlier. Extra O has to find a way to land that's not neutral air dodging on top of a character like Rob, who has vertical kill confirms the up tilt, the up air, or maybe just like a grab or an up smash. So like all of those things are something you have to be looking out for, and maybe Extra O might want to opt for drifting to ledge like that. Right now, Dill is just like throwing out the gyro and just seeing how is Extra O gonna be responding to this, but Extra O responding beautifully with the uh, use of the fire arrows there. You know, another tool that I like that came out of Extra O is the fact that he tried to use lingering uh, air to yep. check Dill's air dodging, just to maintain that pressure. The fact that Extra O just keeps on pressing the gas in these situations is really commendable because he's not letting up any of this pressure that he builds up and he's on track right now for tying up the stock count again, despite how heavily Dill let it into him in the uh, second row of stocks. And even using the top to his own merits. All right. We'd love to see it. And right now, just calling out Dill's attempt to down tilt on his shield with that neutral air. Actually, I love the way that actually O is committing off stage. You saw him with the falling back airs, you saw him with the falling neutral airs, still able to upbeat. And that is so risky when you have a character like Young Link, who has a very, very exploitable recovery. But actually, O is just recognizing the fact that he cannot let Dill have the stock any longer than he needs to right now. Had a good recovery with the bomb, lets him come on back, but that's so much damage that he's already taken into this. <laughs> and there he's going to annihilate Rob at 202%, but uh, at what cost? At what cost? Uh, the up throw was not quite enough to take it, even on the Kalos platform. I love the use of the bomb there because he effectively prevented... Huh. I feel like there could have been a bigger punish there, but wow, Young Link with the back of the hand still able to snap onto the Kalos ledge. Um, I love the fact that he made like the most out of his, the little drift that Young Link has. Mixing up the time and making sure he's not going to get spiked. All right, actually, I almost made that comeback. That was really dangerous. Yeah. I mean, just the lingering hitbox of the neutral is just so ridiculously active when you're at 170%. You're as light as Young Link is. Um, yeah, it's it's like you could get like he could breathe on you and you're going to lose your stock. You know. Going deep thought with these bands.
You know, the worst part about it is that any Sage is really good for Rob is also good for uh, yep. for Youngling. So you're at best bringing him to a neutral stage. Mm -hmm. And the Deny is going to go to FD and uh, Smashville. Okay. Yep. So... He's smart enough to ban stages like Yoshi or the Battlefield because those aren't stages that are necessarily very preferable to Young Link. Um, Young Link really likes flat stages. Young Link really likes to limit a lot of uh, character like Rob's mobility. Right. Um, they're going to be opting for Unova, and I didn't even get to see what music choice that was, but I'm very glad that they went back and did it because nothing makes the set more exciting than a little bit of spicy Pokemon music. Of course. Pikachu and Nova was a pretty strong one, too. Like, it's a little bit tighter of space while still giving a similar platform yep. layout. But not even just that, the lack of the edge platforms will make it a lot easier for Extra O to come back versus Dill. Um, I feel like those, like, protruding platforms really just let Dill set up and punish a lot of um, Extra O's attempts to recover. Right now, Extra O already took 64% in the first 30 seconds of the game. He's looking to get something started, and that gyro placement working out so well, effectively... Oh, but he oh. missed something. His jump had no bomb because he had the top. He couldn't pull one. Oh, that's so sad. Either way, it gives Dill a very strong start to game two. Yeah, that's a really, really unfortunate, like, early stock for Extra O there. Um, Extra O trying to set up something with the boomerang, but Dill is ready just to maneuver around it. Trying to get the parry punish, but has to respect the fact that that Nair is really, really safe on shield. Unless you have a really hard read that Dill is going to shield after he lands with a Nair, you shouldn't be committing to those kinds of grabs. Um, getting the fire arrow into the boomerang. What? Huh. Maybe he uses neutral B a little bit too early there because it fizzed out. Yeah. I believe it's like once every three seconds. Getting oh! the arrow, 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 and missing his last forward arrow, unfortunately. And once again, another top confirmed yeah. goes in favor of Dell, but it looks like this game too is running away from extra. Oh, Dell looking a little happy over there at the ledge. Dill's moving just a little bit. Just Have a, a good bit. time. I love that attempt to do the falling, uh, the falling back here though. Um, maybe needing a high recovery there, but regardless, not able to get it off. And right now, like you see, Dill like so confident in his play. He knows that. I'm two stocks up. I'm gonna play back. I'm gonna make you come to me. But Extra O is able to net that kill. Yo, you little smirk into the player cam and the two taunts? All right. I want to believe that Extra O is back in it with that. But we got to see the play reflect the uh, confidence. Getting the, the tether cancel tether. Um, just anything that he can to like mix up um, his timing, make sure to throw off Dill's timing on his ledge traps. Um, Extra O has to keep his head covered. He cannot underestimate Rob's just ability to like drift all the way to you with the falling neutral air. You know, that being said, we saw Extra O make the comeback in the uh, previous game. And here he is sitting already in the uh, tied stocks. Even though he's bleeding, this is very doable. Like, Dill only just barely won game one. Yeah, and I was really unfortunate if we actually owe there because he tried to get something started with the boomerang, but that would actually plank with the F smash getting the double parry into the up. That's going to be a parry into up tilt up air, um, but Dill not ready for the fact that actually was going to neutral air dodge, opting for the fade back boomerang. Though Dill was really, really ready with his shield. And Extra O has to be careful with those aggressive like comeback spawns to stage like that. When you rob, you have back, you have neutral, you have down tilt, you have all of these options that can just like stuff, like they, they can just say, hey buddy, are you coming up with an attack? I have hitboxes bigger than yours. GG's.